those awful moments after the South Tower was hit, some of the injured huddled in the wreckage of the 78th floor. The fires were spreading. The air was filled with smoke. It was dark. They could barely see. It seemed as if there was no way out. And then there came a voice, clear, calm, saying he had found the stairs. Out of nowhere, and a young man came over, came and swimming and said, I found the stair, follow me, only help the one you can help. A young man in his 20s, strong, emerged from the smoke, and over his nose and his mouth, he wore a red handkerchief. There was just this guy, and I don't know who the guy is, that was just in the doorway. And all you heard him say was, over here. How, how do you thank somebody for that? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here talking to you, and other people aren't. There was a story from people that got out, survivors, that somebody helped them. They didn't know who he was. They couldn't see his face. They had a red bandana over his mouth and his nose. Now, that had been going on, like, you know, we didn't know whether it was, was it a myth? Was it something that people imagined? Without him, that particular moment, I would be crushed or buried. Judy said she never would have gotten out of the tower alive if not for the man with the red handkerchief. They didn't know his name. They didn't know where he came from, but they knew their lives had been saved by the man in the red bandana.